Coming up next, I do my updated full impression of Parfums de Marley Calan. Coming next. Welcome back everybody. This is Joel The Nose. And today I am doing a follow-up from a, about a week ago of my first impression of Parfums de Marley's Calan. Um, now, you can look at my first impression, which I did about four or five days ago. In that, I, my, my first impression was a little bit let down based on my love of this brand. This is my favorite uh, brand that's out there right now from top to bottom. Everything they do seems to just be super quality from the bottle design to the, the fragrance and the variations of the different fragrances. Uh, even the women's fragrances, I smell those and I'm in love with them. So I smell them a lot uh, at Osme Perfumery here in Miami. They have uh, most of their collections. So every time I go in, I, I have to say I'm just drawn to their, their bottles. I'm drawn and, I'm, and there's so many that I'm just always smelling and I love every one. Um, so I guess my expectations for Kalan were really high because I've talked about before, Hobdon is my favorite right now personal fragrance. It's just, to me, utter perfection. And even though that's, you know, six years old now. So I think that I was a little, on my first impression, I was expecting, I guess, something along that line. And, you know, sometimes your expectations or what you're expecting can throw you off. So I'm so glad that I've now had a chance to wear Kalan for a few days. I've now worn it two or three times since my first impression, and I gotta say, my impression on this fragrance has completely changed. Um, I will say this, that the, the initial notes, let me just read them again for those of you who didn't read my first or see my first impression, but the top notes are listed as blood orange, black pepper, and spices. The heart notes are lavender and orange blossom. And the base notes are sandalwood, moss, wood, amber, and tonka bean. So clearly at the top in the mid, you're seeing orange. <laughs> and for me, being in Miami and South Florida, you know, orange is everything. Orange is my favorite color. Orange and blue are the colors of the school I went to. Go Gators. Um, but having said that, uh, when, when I did my first impression, I got the orange and I got a little bit of the spicy, and then I my first impression was just an hour in. And I gotta say, after about an hour and a half, this thing really just started to sit on my skin perfectly. Uh, I could see where this would be very attractive for women, because I think this would be a pleasant scent. I think this could be worn as very much as a unisex. Um, and I know it's listed as an oriental spicy uh, unisex, and that definitely, I think, could come across that way, although this lens tends to be, I think, more uh, I guess more masculine for me, but it could be worn by a woman, I think, and she could pull it off and rock it. But I think because of that, that women will find this very sexy on a man. Uh, the orange blossom kicks in the middle after you already have, again, the, the, the blood orange on the top. So it's very consistent throughout. And I guess that is where the nice, it transitions so nicely. I think it's a subtle transition, which at first you think is not it's this kind of linear transition, but it really is not. It's just a subtle, complex transition from the top to the mid to the base. And the base comes in with that wood, that sandalwood, that moss, that amber, and just warms up. And it feels like, you know, just trying to describe just like a warm orange, like if you're walking through an orange grove on a warm day in Florida in the, in the summer and you're just kind of enveloped by that warm, heat um, with that just beautiful smell all around you. And I think it just comes in beautifully as those mid and bass notes kick in. Uh, and I think the tonka bean also there also gives it some of that sweetness uh, that it's like, again, it transitions because you have the orange at the top, the orange blossom in the middle, and then you have that tonka bean, which kind of allows it to stay sweet, but not too sweet all the way out through the transition. I got good, uh, as far as uh, on my skin, I had a good projection about 12 to 14 inches around. As I've told you before, I always spray on the insides of my elbows, the back of my left hand usually, which I can still smell it. I sprayed it earlier today, it's been on all day. Um, and 
over eight hours at this point. Uh, and I also spray either side of my neck and back of my neck. So that way it gives myself like a helmet. I give myself like a, a, a perfume helmet and a fragrance like this. I gotta say this, this is the case with all PDMs that I've tested. It, you just, it envelops you around. It's just nice because as you're turning and twisting, as I'm working in my little chemistry meth lab, all joking aside, it's not my meth lab. It's where I'm making fragrances now, just for fun. Um, so it, it, it gives that, and again, I got good projection for about three hours, so people can smell it around you. After that, it goes to a skin scent, but a nice, warm, sexy, kind of sweet, amberish tonka bean with a hint of orange skin scent. So if you like those flavors, if you like those smells, if you like that scent, you're going to love this. I think this is unique for PDM. It's not like anything I've smelled by them before, uh, so it may throw you off a little bit. If you're like me and your first impression is a little bit underwhelmed, give it a second or third try and you're gonna love this. Uh, I talked about this in my, my, my first impression. If you go to any perfume shop right now, this is the number one thing that people are asking for. I talked to uh, the owner, Maurice Locke at Osme, a friend of mine, and he said, uh, yeah, when people come in, this is the first thing they ask for. So this is super hot. Uh, if you get your hands on it, try it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear some comments. If you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, put it right down in, in, in the sections here. You can ring the bell for notifications. And I hope you found this useful. And again, if you take anything from this uh, review, is don't allow your first impressions to guide you. That's why you never blind buy, because my first impression on this was not as, as, as favorable for most of my PDM reviews, and this one, once I've wore it a few times and let it dry down and go, it changed my mind, and I think, uh, again, on my skin, it works really well. So, that's it. This is Joel the Nose. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you taking the time to watch me. Hope you have a great day, and we'll be coming back from Miami soon. Talk to you later.